So this is the hype of the media. It is the hype of the media. It is selectively targeting. So because of this, you find the scenario today that there is a misconception about Islam. And I blame the Muslims also. That we aren't actually conveying the message of truth to them. We aren't doing our job. And we find that certain verses of the Quran are called out of context. And one of the most famous verses of the Quran, in which the critics they try and say that, Oh, Quran says, wherever you find a non-Muslim, you kill him. And one of the famous critics of India, as you know, Arun Shuri, he wrote a book called The World of Fatwa. And he writes in his book and he quotes the Quran in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 5. He says, the Quran says, wherever you find a kafir, into brackets Hindu, into brackets Hindu, wherever you find a kafir, into bracket Hindu, you kill him. You wait for him in every stratagem of war. So imagine if a common Hindu, I know some Hindu reads this, oh, Quran says that wherever you find a Hindu, kill him, then immediately, there will be a reaction. He will start going against Islam. So the problem is that selected few people for their own ulterior motives because of their writing. Then he wrote the book, The World of Fatwa, and he quotes the same verse which has been quoted by Orientalist. Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 5, giving reference. After verse number 5, he jumps to verse number 7 directly. Any intelligent person will know why. Because verse number 6 has the key, the reply to his allegation. In context, if you read Surah Tawbah chapter number 9, the first few verses speaks about a peace treaty between the Muslims and the Mushriks of Makkah. This peace treaty was unilaterally broken by the Mushriks of Makkah. So by the time Almighty God reaches verse number 5, He says that in the battlefield, that wherever you find your enemy, Kafir means an unbeliever enemy, wherever you find the enemy, you kill him. In the battlefield, if anyone quotes out of context, it will sound absurd. Imagine a few decades earlier, there was a war between USA and Vietnam. And if the army general of USA or the president of USA tells the American soldiers in the battlefield that my soldiers, don't get scared. Wherever you find the Vietnamese, kill him. It is to boost up the morale. But today, if someone quotes that the president of America said that wherever you find a Vietnamese, kill him, you will make him sound like a butcher. It's out of context. And but naturally, any army general, to boost up the morale, he will give moral support to his soldiers. So similarly, when Almighty God says in the Quran to the believers that when the enemies come to kill you, don't get scared, you kill them. So what's harm in it? And the next verse, verse number 6 says that if the unbelievers, if they seek asylum, it does not say let them go. It says if they seek asylum, if they seek peace, escort them to a place of security so that they may hear the word of Allah. The Quran does not say if the enemy wants peace, let them go. The Quran says escort them to a place of security. Today, the most generous army general, the maximum military soldier, that if the enemy wants peace, let them go. Which army general will say that escort them to a place of security? But this is what Quran says.